There are three types of grace, okay, or charis. There are three types of grace. There is the grace which is given to you, not by what you did. But God gave you without effort. Then there is grace which is distributed. Which you see Apostle Paul when he is writing his books. He would be, he would be writing, grace be unto you. He would actually distribute it. He would even use words like, you have been sharing in my grace. You can actually distribute it. You can give it. So one is not a man of God. But after meeting another man of God, he becomes a man of God. It means there's distribution of grace. There was no Timothy. But when he met Paul, he became Timothy. So there was a distribution. And Paul said, I distributed to you. So it is a grace that you can share. There's one which you can't share. God just gives you. He just loves you. Not by your works. All right? He just gives you. Did you hear that? So God looks at you and says, Oh, before you are even born, God makes a plan and gives you grace. Did you hear that? Then there's another grace which you obtain by being shared. Then there's a third one which you obtain, you find after research. This one, it comes after God seeing the proportion of the level of your faith. You can only obtain it by how much you are believing to obtain it. So if you do not involve yourself to get it, this is what the Bible says what? It says, we have been given gifts differently according to the proportion of the level of our faith. So this grace is given to us by the proportion of the level of our faith. So you cannot obtain this grace without a particular level of faith. So you need a discovery. You need a research. You need to be in the lab. You need to involve yourself until you, you, you get into a level of Eureka. Euriskos. Where you now obtain it. You find it. You discover it. So when you are praying and nothing is happening, I can tell you something. You have not yet discovered it. It's there somewhere. You are still doing your research. When major one is ministering, you go like, I receive it. I receive it. Time of giving. Maybe it's in giving. Maybe my miracle is in giving. Maybe my miracle is in fasting. Maybe my miracle is in prophecy. Maybe my miracle is you are doing research. It's exactly what happens in research. And that's what the Bible says, so that we may obtain mercy and find. This is finding. It's not just a finding where you were walking like this and they go like, oh, I found the grace. No. You were searching. There was a research. Am I talking to somebody right here? Come and tell your neighbor, say Eureka. Come on, say Eureka. You risk us. Some say you risk us. So go back to the scripture. Now, see what the Bible there is saying. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Whether prophecy, so there is grace for prophecy. So now the Bible begins to list different graces. It says we may actually obtain these graces. See there. It says whether what? Prophecy. Let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Verse 7. It says what? Or ministry. Let us word on our minister. Or he that teaches on the teaching. You're watching me now. I want to say this to you. I believe God today is going to give you grace. I'm not talking to those who are just sitting there and listening. I'm talking to those who are receiving. I say you shall receive grace today. I say you shall obtain mercy. And you shall find grace. 
Now, go back to Hebrews 4.16. Then the Bible here says what? It says, look at that. It says, let us therefore come bodily. And the word bodily there is the word pareja. P A double R E S I A. Pareja. It actually means, it means freedom of speech and expression. Let us therefore come bodily. Meaning, let us therefore come with the freedom of speech and expression. Way to the throne of grace. You didn't hear me. It's a freedom of speech. But do you know, most Christians are not using it. We are not under monarchy. God gave us grace. So if God has to manifest and react over your issue, it means you made him do so by means of the freedom of speech and expression. So you are telling God that I'm not allowing this case to be like this. Do you understand all people in the Bible, they could actually put a date to their miracle apart from you. You are the only one who don't put date. Elijah said by next year, time like this one. The four men who went to Abraham, they said by next year, time like this one, you shall have a child. Elisha said by next year, time like this one, you shall conceive. It is only you who you have not said by next month. You don't know Pareja. You are not using your freedom of speech. Karabahanda Zathia. Somebody said by tomorrow. Ah, you are speaking without even Pareja. There's no boldness. Somebody said by next week. Say by this month end. Shout louder. Say by this month end. What will happen? Say it. What will happen? Declare. Declare now. Korama handa zekipia 